And then I would like to, actually, I feel very, very lucky to be here on the stage today to share about this journey to Sales Master. And I feel very honored as well. And I would like to get this opportunity to thank someone in my life here. All right. So the first thing that I, the, the, the first I want to thank is uh, God. You know, because throughout the journey, there is a lot of challenges, there is a lot of hardships. I want to thank God for answering my prayers. They give me the faith, they give me the courage, and also give me the wisdom in supporting me in this journey to continue pursue my dreams. All right. So the second, I would like to say thank you to Atomi Malaysia, because I joined Atomi since 2017, like about February time. But I think I get into the system maybe in June or August, something like that. So that time, we actually see that Success Academy in Kuala Lumpur, maybe it's like this size. And it's keep growing and growing and growing. And then the company staff, they've been doing a lot. They have only less than, I think, less than 30 staff in a company. And they are doing more than 80 to 100 seminars in a year. Can you imagine that? It's a very, very powerful and excellent team. Wonderful jobs. And at the last, I would like to thank, in this journey, the very important people to support me in this journey. Of course, it's my family, okay? My mom, my husband, and my brother, they've been listening to my whinings for almost one year, okay? I don't know how you do it, Tommy, for the first year. Is it very happy? Happy, okay? And then sometimes at night, have you ever think and cried? Any one of you have experienced this before? Really? Jason? No, okay, very good. All right. So, I was in this journey was very hard, and then for the family support, it's very important. But usually at the beginning, you don't get your family support instantly because they are so worried about you. So they want to know that your decision, that your choice will help you or will harm for your future. So they need time to see your actions. So if you are determined, you want to be successful in Atomy, prove them because they will become the best supporters to you in your life. Okay? So this is the people that are really support me. And of course, in this journey, the most important people is the members, the customer, the partners, and also the leaders. Okay, the leaders in Success Academy is very, very influencing. Do you agree with that? Very influencing. From the beginning, what has keep giving me the faith coming to the Success Academy is looking at these leaders. They are the one who open up the impossibles. They are the one who have conquered the market of Malaysia conquer the market of Indonesia. Even future, they will conquer the market of China and India. Because of them, I see the possibilities. Because for me, I'm not a very high capable person. I'm just a very normal person. I don't even have a background in sales. I don't have any background in doing marketing. I'm very bad at socializing. If you see me like three years ago, I really talk for more than five minutes. Most of the time, you will see me just sitting very quiet. So when I'm starting this atomic journey, the first thing I need to change is to change myself. So I have to be talkative. I have to start sharing. Okay? So I really, really admire people who have an outgoing character. I think if you're an outgoing person, you must do atomic. All right? Okay. So the very first, to start with the journey to sales master, I would like to ask, anyone here want to become a sales master? Wow, give yourself a big round of applause. All right. When you think you want to become a sales master, you will become one. Why? Because in the balanced life sharings from the Chairman Park, it was saying that you dream and your dream will come true. As long as you dream for that. Okay? So, we want to become a sales master, but I would like to share why I want to be a sales master in Atomy or why we want to be a sales master. Because the journey to sales master, a lot of time actually we are realizing why. 
It's not about what we do. It's not about how we do it. It's about why we do it. Okay. For example, a sales master in anatomy is earning about average how much? Ringgit Malaysia. About ten thousand. About fifteen thousand. The average to ten thousand to fifteen thousand. Do you think that ten thousand and fifteen thousand right now in the market? If this is your income, is it good income? Very good. If you are single and you're having an income for ten to fifteen thousand, you will be very hot cake in the market. All right. So if you are a small family and you're having ten thousand to fifteen thousand, you will have quite a comfortable life. Okay. But I realized that if in sales master, the earning is about ten thousand to fifteen thousand per month. So let's say if we target, we set this target to become a sales master, but halfway, maybe you will feel tired, and maybe you will start to think about maybe I don't want to earn that much. Maybe five thousand is okay, or maybe three thousand is okay. Slowly, slowly, you fade away. But in anatomy, I think I have the determinations because I'm not only fighting for the income. I'm fighting for something called the freedom. Do you guys will fight your best for your own freedom? Come again. Will you guys fight the best for your own freedom? Yes. yes. Why? Because time freedom and financial freedom is very, very important in our life. If you notice that since we were born, go through this education system, the whole system has bring us into what? Into a cage. And this cage, what we do there? We work. We keep working and keep working until we die. That's all. After pension, you are not there yet. Okay? You need to have a fund to support yourself. All right? So when I see the freedom, I want to share a little story, okay, which is a scene that I saw last year. When I was eating together with my mom in a food court, there was a very busy food court. So across at the corner, I saw there is two very old couple, very old couple, about 80 years old. So they have uh, young people is accompanying them eating. So these two, uh, this old couple, very old, so when they are eating, they're eating very slow. So this young person was, was waiting and looking at the watch. Was eating and uh, looking at the watch. So the couple, they're trying to eat faster, but they couldn't. So the whole thing become very awkward. I feel very sad. I don't blame the young person because maybe he has no choice. That he has to work and it's, it's very rushing in time. But at the same time, he wants to care for, the, for her parents but this is something that we have trapped in the society. If you realize that a lot of things is not in our control. No matter how much you want to change your life, but we do not have the platform. So from here, when I, see, when, and I turn and tell my mother, this is the reason what I want to do at Tommy. Because if I get the freedom for financial, and I get the freedom for time, then I can provide everything for the company. Oh, sorry from my family. <laughs> All right, okay. So before I start the journey to sales master, I guess you guys are very excited to hear it, but I would like to share about my past because this is how I started actually. Okay. Um, my past actually, I'm from a very small town in Johor. Okay, if you heard of Yongpeng before? Okay, Yongpeng is very famous with fishbowl and Futopia, okay? So anyway, it's a very small town and it's small enough that there's nothing in there. So I was also from a single mother family and when we were small, I have a younger brother. The life was very, very tough. Like uh, the Connie and the Senghok brother was talking about, it was very hard that you don't have a happy childhood, okay? Why I know? Because when I grow up, I used to have a very sad face. All right. And my husband first saw me, I asked him, what is your impression about seeing me the first time? Have you ever asked your husband about this question? Your husband going to have a hard night tonight, okay? So I asked, what is your impression about seeing me the first time? And he said that you look like you just died a husband. 
I just can't believe that at that time we are not a couple yet. So now he's my husband, all right? So when we were small, the life was very tough. And then I remember when I stayed at home, because it's a small town, if you notice that small town has a very dark sky, all right? Dark sky is full of what? Bright stars, all right? So time to time, you will see the aeroplane is like flying and crossing the sky. So when I was small, I was looking at the dark sky and I was thinking, where is this aeroplane is going? So if I would be able to fly away from this town and pursue my dreams, how great it will be. So here my first dream is coming is to become a flight attendant. All right. So I was like, okay, I want to become a flight attendant. Okay, forget about my height. Ignore that. Okay. So, but that was my dream. Okay. So after that, when I graduated from high school, because of uh, family financial problem, I couldn't really proceed with my studies. So what I did is that I start telling my very good friends. Okay, I told her that, you know what, after graduate, I think I want to go for the flight attendant interview. And she looked at me, she said, oh man, that's impossible. Please don't do that. Something like that. Okay, so that's the first uh, discourage from my friend. So after that, I start to hide my dreams. So I have no choice, I have to come to Kuala Lumpur and start working. So I was working several jobs and I was not happy about it. I just totally don't know what I was doing. I just go in to clock in and clock out and go home. So until one day, I saw there is an advertisement on the newspaper. There is an interview for flight attendant. I didn't tell anybody, so I went there myself. Imagine what happened. I fell. All right? I fell very badly. I don't even see the interviewers and fell just like that. Okay? So at that time, I said to myself, maybe they are right that I don't have the call to be what I want to be. So I went home. So the second time, they called me. They said, oh, we have your resume. Do you want to try for the second time? That time, I almost rejected because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be insulted by a group of beautiful girls you know, in front of them, something like that. But I was like, why not just give it a try? So I went there, wasn't bringing much of expectation, stages by stages by stages. And until the last stage, only I realized that, oh, I'm already at the last stage. After that, I ended up in Middle East International Airline for seven years. Yeah. So that is one thing that I said, how important is dream is. I never imagined it would come through. So I think there must be that God has answered my prayers. So that's why when I think about it, you must believe impossible can be impossible. It's just how you look at the thing. All right. So when you people tell you that impossible, break down and make it I am possible. All right. So I continue my journey in flying, uh, flying career. So the first two years is wonderful. I fulfill the dreams that I was dreaming before. I want to travel and I bring my mom to all the countries, and it was amazing for the first two years. But it was very tiring. Okay. So for the third and fourth years, I start thinking about my future, okay? Why I start thinking about my future, very easy. If you want to see your future in your current job, you just look at your senior. What they will be is what you will be in the next five and 10 years, all right? So I look around my senior uh, manager, flying managers. Their life is miserable. They might look very, well, gorgeous, fabulous, but their life is really miserable, why? Because after 10 years, 20 years flying in the airline, what can you do? Tea? Coffee? Or? No, that's not the, the last day. Okay, tea, coffee, and you're serving. Actually, the most important task for the flight attendant is during emergency. I really want to prove my importance, but not during emergency. It might be the last call for me, all right? So that time I was thinking that, why these people stay in the airline for so long? Because they have fallen into the some zone, they call it a comfort zone. If you are in the comfort zone, you must be aware of it. Because like just now, Jason Lim, sales master was sharing about, the time moves very fast. So if we are in the comfort zone and we didn't aware of it, after five years, you will be out of, out of the place, out of place. So after that, if you want to know 
whether are you in a comfort zone is very easy. Here is an example for you, okay? The example is, imagine that you are, okay? Imagine that this is the flea, all right? What is flea? If you open your cat's fur or animal's fur, you will see flea in it. What is the talents of a flea? They can jump very far. They can jump very high, all right? But if you have closed a flea in the closed lid jar, what happened to it? At the beginning, they were jumping very, very hard, but after that, they were slow down and they will become either wide. Because when you're jumping, hit your head on the lid, it's not fun. All right? It hurts. So after a few times, you stopped. And what happened? What happened very sad is, even when the jar is open, the opportunity has come. What happened to the flea? They will not jump out anymore. So this is what happened exactly in our life. When the opportunity passed by, because of the comfort zone, we missed it again, and we missed it again, we missed it again, until we become 50 years old, 60 years old, and then we only heard the old folks were saying, if only I were. But we don't want that. We want to take actions to change our life. All right. So when I'm looking at the future of that, I'm thinking that I need to change. So how am I going to change it? Change is very, very painful. All right, because I have to start from zero. So that time, my second dream start forming in my head. I'm start looking at the office people. I think I want to become an office people. I want to become like a corporate leader, working in the company, in the management level, and become a leader. So this is my second dream. So what I do is that during my flying time, I start pick up a study. I start getting my professional papers. It was very hard when you have to study and working at the same time. If any one of you is working and studying at the same time, I want to salute to you. It's very hard. So after three years trying that and study for the papers and coming back from Middle East back to Malaysia, taking the professional papers, everything has done. So now I'm ready to find a job. Okay, so I fly back to Malaysia. Why back in Malaysia? Because Malaysia is a very, very wonderful land. It's very hard to find a land like Malaysia because it's an opportunity land. In Malaysia, if you work hard, you get opportunity to change your life if you want to. Because in a lot of other countries, they don't have a choice. It's really hard for them. For example, when I went to Bangladesh, Dhaka, you will not see hope there. You will just want to get out from the country. This is why the people, they are leaving the country for other countries for job. But we don't have to. We just need to stay in Malaysia, find an opportunity and work for it. Okay. So that time, I came back to Malaysia and I get an interview. So after the interview, I got a job. So I happened to work in an IT company. So that IT company, the first time when I get in, I just become an assistant to a manager. Assistant. I'm just an assistant. My pay was half of what I was paid before, okay? But I think I have to start from somewhere. It's like when you have chosen Atomi as your career, you have to build up. You have to start from somewhere, even though it's lower than where you are right now. It's hard. It's a decision. So when I came back and started working for the company, so for the past three years, I was working very, very hard for the company because I think effort is very important. I don't have whatever talents that other people already have, maybe. I'm just a very normal person. The only thing can change my life is about the effort. So I spend more than 10 hours, 12 hours of time in a day to work. I don't need friends. I just need work. I keep working and keep working. During the third year, finally, I got what I want, which is being promoted as a general manager at the age of 31 years old. But it came a bit early to me. Thank you. It came a little bit early to me because I was thinking they would come at the age of 35 years old. All right. So that time, I realized that when you are in the company, you're in the management level, you have promoted higher and higher, and I think that this is the time I can change my life. But guess what? I think I'm just riding on a smaller wheels to a bigger wheels. 
All right, why? Because when you're in the smaller wheels, yes, you keep running, but it's more easier for you to run. But when you get a higher responsibility, what happened? A bigger wheel. It's even more harder to run. You know, the stress level has went up, the responsibility has went up, and then the company expectation to you has went up. And then, to be honest, if you cannot withstand the stress, a lot of people is queuing behind you. They can just, you cannot take it, you just leave it, we will replace you with a lower salary. So that time, I know that this is not what I want. So I was thinking, I want a change. I want a total change. I'm fed up with it. Okay? Because for the past 10 years that I've been working, I once heard Star Master Jerry Lai share before. 10 years, total 10 years of working, number 10 years, when he looked back of what he did before, it just goes back to zero. It's just exactly how I feel. I feel that for my Working life, until my age of 30 years old, I'm living in a cage and keep running. Do you guys have the same feelings like me? Really? Or just only me feeling like this? They would be weird, you know? <laughs> okay. So this is how I feel about it. So that time, I was thinking that I want to break the cage. I think every one of you here, if here for the opportunity, I think this is how you feel. You want to break something, okay? So that time, I was thinking that I want to break the cage and I want to be a superwoman and to become an entrepreneur, okay? Start your own business. Okay, bye, boss. I'm going to start my own business. Of course, not that fast. So I start looking for business opportunity. So if any one of you here want to do business, what business would be the best? Okay, Atomy will be the best, right? Okay. After knowing Atomy, we will not choose anything anymore. Okay. So at that time, I was thinking to open a restaurant. So this restaurant, why? Because my younger brother is a chef for 10 years, Chinese cuisine. Worked very hard. So I was thinking to make use of him, grab him, work in the restaurant. I'll be the boss. So we run a business. Okay. So, but after calculating for the profit and loss and everything, the preparations for that, at least you need two years' time in order to talk about profit. So it means that the first two to three years is all about putting money in and to burn. Okay, imagine that it's a winter time right now. You have a stove. You want to warm the rooms. You have to burn. How many sticks that you need to put in to burn? You don't know. You have to burn until it becomes warm. How many sticks do you have? We don't know. I don't have much sticks. I don't have a business background. So that time, I have an agony. Agony of what? I feel like fighting for freedom is very, very hard. Because it's full of fear. Why fear? Because we need to take risk. We need to sacrifice. So that is the thing. So I've been hesitant for a really long time that I was still working, but my heart is not with a company anymore. I was working, 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 and until one day, there is a sunshine come into my life, which is, <laughs> my God, a handsome man has walked in my life. Well, okay, <laughs> Atomi. All right. What Atomi has grabbed my attention is because of their policy, really. Because I'm not from a business background, so doing business is something very new to me. So if I can practice honesty and goodness in doing the business, that means that everybody of us, we can do business very easily. All right? So when the time I was introduced this Atomi by who? Ironically, by my boss. <laughs> oh, he must be... The <laughs> didn't imagine today. So what happened is that because his Korean friends called him when the Malaysia just opened, like after a few months, called him long friends. So they were talking, talking, talking on the phone. So after talking on the phone, he just asked me, oh, come to the room. All right, I was like, okay. So he said, give me your IC. <laughs> I was like, boss, no. So I was just giving the IC and okay, you can go out now. I was like, okay. So after five minutes, he said, congratulations. You were a Tommy member. <laughs> and he actually claps. I was like, okay. And then I went to the laptop and I looked at the Atomy websites. Okay. But one thing I feel good is because it's a website. Because for our company, IT company, we are one-stop 
solutions. We build websites, we do digital marketing, we do shopping carts, almost everything. We know that online websites is very important for future trends. So if a company has a shopping cart website, they have a very, very good future. By that time, we're just looking at the websites. We don't know that Atomi has a very powerful weapon. What is that? Free membership. And it's not only that, what else? Unlimited levels. Wow. And the third most powerful nuclear power. What is that? Global linked server. Okay, why? Because in the previous company, when we want to merge two countries, for example, a shopping website to merge just Singapore and Malaysia, it's impossible. Because of the payment gateway is very expensive. As if you want to open a website to do the business, you have to spend almost 10,000 to 15,000 a month. For example, my previous company, they have to spend 1 million expenses in order to maintain the company operations. So I know that if this is for free, what are we waiting for? Okay? By that time, of course, I don't know anything about it. But my boss doesn't see this as an opportunity, of course. So she said to the friend, whatever you want to talk, talk to Patricia. I was like, okay, you know. So he kept, she, she, she now become a very close sponsor. She kept talking to me about this Atomi. How do you get into Atomi? You remember how your sponsor talked to you? It's exactly the same, all right? Talk about these products, the evening care set, and then the system, uh, the, the sex system, the, the skincare sex system, and the sunscreen and everything. So I wasn't listening to it until the third month, I finished my skincare, and I said, okay, let's try for the skincare products. So the very first one I tried is the evening care set. Is that the one that you started with? Yes, definitely. Everybody do that in the home party. All right, so I started with that set and then I bought together with the skincare six system. Why? Because it's the most value set. Six items for less than 400 ringgit. You will not see it in the market. All right, so I keep hearing this colma, colma, and colma, and carry. I was like, what is that? Because this is not our habit as a consumer in the market. We buy the thing, we look at the packaging, beautiful. We looked at the brands. Well, the brands determine the price, and that's all. We don't know where it's made from, how important is the manufacturer, the research company. We don't know. But I heard about this Colma. She told me this Colma is manufacturing research for many branded things in the world. So that's why I have a little bit of trust for Atomy products. So I bought the evening care set. I bought the lotions, the herbal shampoo online. Very easy. You click, and they send it to your house. So when I first opened it, I was like, wow. This is amazing package, huge. The foam cleanser is really heavy. So when I look at the price, I was like, oh, any Hokkien here? Tan diola. Okay, only 128 ringgit for the set of evening care set. So I start using it, okay? So when I start using it, what happened? My skin get, my skin get transformation. It's really, really transformed for me. I'm not sure whether you can see the difference, yeah. So that was me when I was working in IT company. If you don't take care of your skin, if you don't take care of your health, you will lose it, all right? And then you were wondering why your husband don't look at you anymore. Well, that the answer is on the face, okay? So to be honest, the left side, the photos, I'm already using branded products. I tried my best, I did my best. But after using Atomi for like a few months, the, the skin transformation just amazed me. And I saved a lot of money because Atomi product is what? Absolute quality, absolute price, okay? So after that, there is people start asking me, oh, you become fairer. I thought I would used to be fair before. No, you wasn't. You was dark skin before. All right, I said, okay. And she, they asked me, what do you use? For girls, we like to share about skincare. So I said, this Atomy. So I add them as a member without having intention to do the business because it's the same price, okay? After I added them, and then they start purchasing. So I have points coming in, but I didn't notice it at all. So after some times, I got my first matching commissions. I was like 240? 240, there was once time a 260, 283 is left flat too, it's like a share market, okay? So I got a first matching, I was very excited, and I called my sponsor. I was like, where, where is this money coming from? Because it doesn't look like a commission from the price difference. 
Because I clearly remember there is no price difference. Okay? So after that, she told me about this marketing plan, and I go and watch the VODs of uh, Chairman Park for almost all of it. And then I made up my mind. I finally found an opportunity. Okay, I must grab this opportunity. So after that, I keep sharing. After knowing the plan, sharing even harder. Are you one of them? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now what is the benefit of sharing? So you will keep doing sharing and sharing and sharing. So 90% of time when I'm doing the sharing, guess what I get? Partners, yeah. Again, come on. Like you guess what I get? 90%. What I get from sharing non-stop, like orang gila. Hmm? Consumers. Okay. I show you what I get. I get this. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is that normal? Tell me, is that normal? Because you guys say partner and consumers, that is that normal for me. All right. So that's what I get from the beginning, the first year. 90% of rejections. I don't understand why. Uh, anyone having these problems? Yes. Or oh, very little. So I think you guys are doing a very good job. Yeah? For those who are doing that, don't worry. This is a journey. Right? That's why we are here. Okay. So I get 90% of rejections. I don't understand why. This thing is so simple, so straightforward, but it just couldn't get people to see the thing I'm seeing. All right, it's so hard. So after that, what happened is that my sponsor has consulted me. She said that you must go to the system. Okay? The system is about like education center, one day seminar, and success academy. Okay? So that time, I went to education center in the Subang area called Subang Harmony Center. And here, actually, I want to also take the opportunity to say a big thank yous to Subang Harmony Center for the center leader, Mr. Chang, because they actually helped me a lot. Even though we don't have any relations to the same groups or whatever, we are totally different. But he helped me a lot and let me learn from the centers. So if any one of you seeing any center nearby to you, please don't feel any hesitation. Just go ahead and learn from it because a lot of center leaders actually very lonely in the center. They are waiting for people to come, all right? So just come and ask them any questions. <laughs> okay, so I start learning from there and I said that can I get a chance for presentation because I think along the journey, you will have to present anyhow. Okay, so I start learning presentations and do sharings. And along the way, I learned also from the leaders, from seminars. I want to see how they talk, how they speak. Also from the Success Academy, witness the people who are already successful in the events. Okay, so when I learn, and continuously, I'm going to do the home party. There is no party in my life before which is like in the four years old, I remember I have a birthday party because my mom showed me the photo. After that, there is no party at all in my life. So imagine my sponsor told me, do home party. I was like, no, I never do home party before. Okay, so my first home party was very far from my place. I have to travel one and a half hour every week to go and see my cousin's wife. Why my cousin's wife? She is the only person that listened to me. All right, she's very nice and she's very, very nice girl. So first I sharing about this, I told me, I was sharing about my excitement. So she said, this company is really good. So I went to see her, I do this evening care set and everything, okay? So after that, we start inviting people, one by one, one by one. Sometimes there is only one person, sometimes two person, just like that, starting from there, okay? So let's, uh, let's continue, it's like, whenever we go, we will go and share about the products. And also there is a member, there is a member that she has a, she has a boutique. So she invited me, so go there to do a presentation. That time was very excited. We prepared a TV, a stretch of products and start presenting. I believe a lot of you already have their experience here. So keep doing the home party. This is at my home. So I actually decorate my home like a center. You know, crazy person. <laughs> a meeting place, a TV for presentation. I'm already prepared. I always prepare myself to open a center because 
I already confirmed and committed that I want to be in the business uh, for Atomy. Anyway, after eight months in Atomy, I start having the consumers of sharing and sharing and sharing. You will have consumers, okay? Along the way, you can find the partners or the, your leader under you. They want to do the business together with you as a team. So that time, I see the money flowing in, but not much. It's only like a few hundred ringgit a month. But I can see the momentum, all right? And this is taking me a lot of time. So that time, I'm thinking for me to give the resignation letter. All right. So being full-time in Atomy is very, very, very good if you have a plan for that. All right. So don't just quit because you don't like your boss. All right. You must have a plan for that. So I planned it slowly for eight months. I saved all my monies, every single penny, and they start engaging with consumers and plan out a plan, you know, who you want to meet, the name list, follow the S-step success, everything step by step, and going to the audience, going to the success academy. Why? Because you want to know that for the next following years, can you do that for long term? Because you have to continue doing it until you become successful. Okay? So by doing all the, all the sharings and everything, as you can see, this is what I did in uh, home. So I'm just continuing doing that and doing that. Uh, I remember that there is time that you might, I'm not sure, because if you have a leader here, have a sponsor here with you, you have to sayang your sponsor very, very much. You have to appreciate them. Why? Because I'm under the feelings of my sponsor is so far away. So everything is video call. Okay, video call tonight. Tell me what you are doing today. Uh, okay, so you just tell about the stories. But if you have a sponsor together with you, you will feel fantastic in this journey, believe me. It's like working together in a team, working towards for your goal. Your sponsor encourage you in your downtime. And your sponsor will continue to support you because they want to see you become successful. So if you have a sponsor, they keep talking and keep talking to you. Remember, in the end of the day, you will thank him or her very, very much. Okay? So as a summary in the journey, I think that I spent a lot of time that I want to know why. Because from part-time to full-time, I have to know what companies that I'm working for, what kind of potential I can get from this company, and whether can I do it or not. Okay, so what I sum up is that for the whole life, okay, for the whole life, the life is about the choice we make. Do you agree with that? Okay, so what choice we couldn't make is from the zero to 20 years old, we cannot choose anything because it's by fate. You don't choose a parent, you don't choose a sibling, so it's by fate. To 20 to 30 years old, which I have experienced before, and all, all of you have experienced, which is doing whatever you can the best, which is your effort. Okay. So now comes to 30 years old, to 40 years old, for these 10 years, you must be able to make a choice. And this choice will change your next 30 years. Okay. For the, 30, for the 40 years old to 70 years old, the realization is there. So if you make a correct choice, you will either shine or fall. So for every person's status quo, the current situation, there is a reason about the choice we made in the past. So whatever that you decided three years ago, you will become whatever you want in these three years. So now in this year, 2020 is coming. Imagine 2023, what you will be and what I will be. I'm so excited. I have to go home now and do the New Year resolutions for 2020, okay? So following the system is one of the best ways to sustain myself in this journey, okay? From the education center, from the one-day seminar, and for the success academy. And today, uh, our Star Master shared a very, very good way of inviting people to come to the Success Academy, why? Because when you learn from the successful people, you will get the experience where you don't get it in the normal company places because everyone wants to secure the very positions, all right? So the last is about the attitude. 
So during the journey, what I really, really spending a lot of time to learn is about the attitude. Because success is coming 99% from the attitude, and Atomy has the best company mottos to keep us doing the right thing the all, all the time. Okay? By doing these company mottos, you will find the best of your consumers, you will find the best of your partners, and you will be doing the very correct things. So the last and not least, I would like to say that success is a journey, it's not a destination. So in the very last year, I would like to wish everybody a very, very happy Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I wish to see all of us successful and achieve your dreams one day. Thank you very much.